Welcome to Crash Bandicoot 2 Platinum Relics, the final video in the series. I've got 25 Platinum Relics, but there are two bonus levels on this bottom level. Totally bare and totally fly. Yeah, you know what? We'll start with this one. Out of this, these last two, this should be the easier one. Okay, I guess we're doing it in the dark. There we go. This should be the easier one, and after, you know, the Totally Bear is probably going to be quite tough. And so, I just want to finish it and be done with the whole game. So let's get this one done first. Don't know what the time is. Oh, pull him back on the slides or I won't make it. Okay. That's really the whole level. It's probably got a really tough time then. I know the first level had a pretty tough time as well. Oh no, it was just actually really easy. That was one of the easier levels in the game. Well, I, I knew it would be easy, but I didn't know it'd be that easy. That was easier than the first one. Night Light or whatever it's called, Night Flight. Well, one level left. And this one will not be a short one because it's a polar level. And polar levels... Are never quick. But on top of it being a regular polar level, you also have like a short vision because it's in the dark. So, lovely combination. But again, it's the final level. Once I complete this level, I am done with this damn game. Okay, that's the, okay. so if I get a quick boost off, a second boost, I can probably boost around that whole thing. Yeah, it's... Oh. Oh. Oh, this one's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. I know there's the, uh, multiple of those kind of freights that go up. There we go. Like, how did I miss every single one of them? Short jump. There we go. Oh man, I I, I I I didn't see that at all because of the vision. Because of the darkness. Did not see that. There we go. Nicely lined up. Remember, you can just skip this and this, but not the next one. And let me just see. So you go past there and just jump to the right, okay. And then we've got... Ooh, there it is! Yep, okay, so it's on the left side. I just can't see shit. So remember, there is a thing just after this. Jump. There we go. Oh, oh, there's a three. Oh, that's a nasty three crate. I don't know. I think maybe you can jump into it. Oh, nice. Okay, you, uh, yeah, the only way is to jump over that thing, and it's definitely possible to do that next time. Under these guys, TNT crates. Oh, okay, jump, jump.
Oh fuck. I fucking forgot again. Wait, guys, uh what was it? What are the next ice barriers gonna do? Jump! Ah, I just can't get one of them right, and there's another one after that too. So just jump, and then underneath. Oh, okay. Guarantee I get to the end of the level now. Just kidding, I did that on purpose so I could restart. The, the unresponsiveness of boosting is so shit. Ah, that's it. It's as easy as that. I forgot though, because I've not been here in so long, what the ice guys are doing. Okay. I've got to jump over the next one. No, I haven't. I forgot which one it was. I mean, I thought I was further up ahead. I just forgot that part of the level existed. Just got to get there more often. Yep, that's very, very simple. I'm not getting my job. I don't know. It it died. Uh... <sighs> you don't want to jump too early, right? So you you wait, and it, it's just a little. It's like one frame too long. You have to do it good, or you just won't hit the crates. Like that! Jumping under. Simple. Simple. Really is simple. I don't actually care because I hit the, I didn't I missed the crate so You don't have to boost their crash if you really don't want to if you really want to ignore my inputs you can It's not going to work out though okay Under the next one And remember this is opposites Wait, farthest we've been? Yes! What a load of shit! Double under. Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. I don't think it'll be platinum. Because I, I didn't boost toward the end, but 
you can see what it is. And just like that, I am done with Crash Bandicoot 2. 27 relics, gold or better. Yes, I will be specific and say that they are all platinum. Man, that game was just so much more tougher than Crash 1. I don't know, I just felt like from the very beginning, I was like, okay, maybe these first two levels are quite tough and it will get better. It never did get better. I think it just, every warp room had, even the average levels had really tough times. Which to be fair, they are platinum relics, so that is to be expected. But yeah, no, that was more difficult than Crash 1 in every way possible. But yeah, that is 27 Platinum Relics, which means I'll do like a top 5 ranking video and then start Crash Warped, which should, should be better. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all in my next video.